Here it is. Famous Paintball Museum. See, touch, feel. Paintball Museum. Traveling oddities. God plays with an automag. I have proof. It's on the t-shirt. <laughs> You've met God? Old friends. You're almost as old as he is. I... <laughs> and there's Mr. Jim Massey. Hello. Another one of the Marshalls. Yeah, the founding member of Marshalls. The third, Marshall third year setting up this incredible display for us. That's the Paintball 101 game. Let's go inside. Our annual meeting of the Miners. All right. It's looking better now. Got some yes, vintage masks. Well, I don't want to go by myself. The old bolt action K2 is yeah, free pump. Yeah, this is probably a vintage 82. Yeah. This is off the display. This was the uh, KP2, which is a direct feed with the pump handle. Yeah, it's a PMI hanger on it, actually. This is the same thing, only done over by Punisher. It was had the nickel plate, ported valve, quick strip slot added. This is just a monstrosity. I'm not even sure what this jump in our game because we are all turning it. But the guy had called it Snake Eyes. He wanted us to light up his newbies. So we're like, cool stuff. So different types of changers, from your simple bucket changer, your dropout changer, line SI lever changer, six pack, micro CAs, single 12 gram lever changers, different types of shoulder stock, the, the old assault line L stock. This was specifically for uh, nail spots and PGPs. And you'll be like, cool. Well, the Titmans, the Snake 60s were the first ones to come out. Those were actually the first semi manufactured for the game of paper. Right and side they side happened side. to go full auto. They were rather scary. The fact that they have no velocity adjustment on them and they have no safety on the trigger or on the firing mechanism made them banned. One of the first things was banned. Yikes. After that, they took the same body, cut it off, put a bolt on it, and made it to 68 Special. After that, they dropped that whole valve system and went to like the pro -Ams, the carbines, uh, the Model 98, 98 Customs. These are, what, these are the A5s are what are popular today, but this is where it all started with them. Running the stripper clips. Five balls at a time, put them in like that. And each time you shot, it would kick one out. And then you'd have to chase these things because they'd fly about three feet away. <laughs> yeah, I remember someone was always looking for them. Oh, God, yes. Yeah, I had a 68 special years ago. And then uh, old, old stuff, uh, the Montanil Z1. Actually, Massey was instrumental in the design of these guns when they were first manufactured. Uh, the F1 Illustrator, the AFT, which is another one that a lot of times field owners didn't like you using because it was a spring-fed 10-round clip on top. Dual air supply, air could go in the front or in the back, didn't matter. And of course with the uh, rain guard on there. It, you can't not hear it. Cool. And then of course, uh, classic Automag, Micromag RT. Uh, old fashioned, old style spider with the old trigger group. That was the one that worked. Stock left feed cocker. This is a ghetto cocker. Every piece of that was bought at a different store off the shelf. There was nothing ordered. It was all just, hey, there's a purple piece that'll fit the cocker. And that's how that gun got nice. developed. The AF, or uh, the tagline, AT85 Select Fire. That's, this is the hopper. The balls are chain fed up into the breech. It goes full auto or semi selectable. You can actually uh, put regular hoppers on those as well. You get back over here into the, some of the old stuff. Uh, Sheridan's, the P12 stock press. Oh, P68 stock press. This is the P12. This is a blood sucker. This is a blood sucker. These are the two from uh, Team AGA manufacturing. Uh, old hammer. Basically this is a spider pump. And I see a lot of stuff online. Kids are like, how can I make my, my spider into a pump gun? 
Easy. You buy the hammer body that fits all your internals. Uh, Sterling, the old uh, Lada. Now, uh, who's making the Sterlings now? It was Lada, now it's, now it's the Aero, Aero Precision. Aero Precision now makes the new Sterlings. Um, the old Razorback, what uh, Worldwide Paintball, Brass Eagle Cobra, Northwest Comp, the Nicky Wilsons. There's actually three of those in there. Of course, you got the 007, the, the Crossman 3357 that ran 50 caliber, six round, and actually, and actually when it's operational, it rotates the cylinder and fires each ball. The AGA 62s, these are fun. These again are breakaways. Nice. That ran on, again, 10 round tubes, spring fed on the inside. So you just carry the tubes, put them in, and you were ready to. I just love the lifting. One of the most complicated mechanisms ever created for feeding oh, look at that. into a gun. Look yeah. at Sir, that. An, an it was over engineered three. to the max. No kidding. But wonderful. Uh, Wintech Thunderbolt, Brass Eagle. Uh, the Nightmare, this is a short barrel comp with the cutout for the 12 gram. This is the long barrel. This is a Gramson Grizzly Enforcer 2. It's got a rather unique hammer system. Once you cock it, this is a great one. That's the hopper right on top. Well, what's that green thing over there? I have one of those. Oh yeah, the Splatmaster. That, that's, that is the one I bought in 1988 and still used today. This had a really in, 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 interesting, there's your trigger, There's that's the safety. You cannot pull the trigger without pulling this out of the way first. Interesting. So that's the safety. Nice. Thank you, Pirate. There's more out there to be found. And you will hunt them down. Jim Massey, Paintball Marshal, founder. Thank Go. Thank uh, Here's one of the more unique paintball markers in the sport of paintball. There was only 16 of them ever made. I happen to know because I'm the guy that made them. Uh, Marcus Neely, who started Montneal Design, creator of the magazine. Uh, before he started Montneal, we were good friends and we lived in the same time in Bedford, Mass. He came to my father's machine shop and we made this prototype right here. No kidding. All pumped. No the only thing kidding. that's a bot is a Lone Star Grip and the spring kit. Everything else I made. Wow. Oh, I should say Marcus and I made. And that's a smart parts barrel. The original barrel I've lost over the years. Yeah. WGP of Sheridan. Nice. And uh, over there you saw the Wintech Thunderbolt. Wintech also made guns for USI. This is a USI Derringer. You'll notice the similarity. It was made by Wintech Industries for marketing by the Ultimate Sport Incorporated. Excellent. Little tidbits of information. Thank you very much, Jim.